Hi guys, Karen here with another video. Welcome back to our channel and thank you so much for watching. So it is fall officially and I have never cooked with butternut squash as much as I have here lately. So today we're going to make a roasted butternut squash and garlic sage um, pasta, okay? Now, what I did do, I was going to save the uh, butternut squash for you all to see, but last night I decided to save myself an extra step. I roasted it along with some, as you can see, garlic here, roasted the garlic, roasted the butternut squash, and then I just put it in the freezer overnight so that it made it easier for me today. And here I have some thyme, some fresh thyme, fresh rosemary, and you're gonna need some sage. Um, if you want to have it vegan, you don't need to add anything else here. You're gonna need some chili, well, you just need some olive oil with chilies, but I happen to have some uh, hot Calabrian chili oil. So I'm just gonna use a tablespoon of that. Your salt, your pepper, whatever pasta you wanna use. And if it's vegan, do not worry about adding anything else to um, make it a more like richer, thicker sauce. You can use actually, um, yeah, you don't really need to use anything else actually. Um, if you're blending it, you could also use a few um, soaked cashew, um, uh, cashews uh, and then blend it along with your um, butternut squash when you put it into the blender. But it's a really simple, recipe um it's really easy um the longest part is actually roasting the butternut squash which i did last night so that i would not have to do it today <laughs> and i think i'll probably do that whenever i'm making a butternut squash video but first things first i'm going to start the water boiling today we're using our five quart brazier in the color chambray and we are using the um 10 quart um, stock pot both by La Crusade. This is the color um, Caribbean and like I said this is chambray. Um, so let's get into it. While the noodles are cooking I'm going to go ahead and start um, making the puree of the um, butternut squash and garlic and yeah, and I'm going to use a little bit of the salted pasta water in there and yeah. And if you're and if you're going to add dairy, you go ahead and add your um half a cup of you can add a half a cup of mascarpone, you can add half a cup of ricotta, um whatever you like or like I said before, you can add soaked cashew nuts. Um and they need to be soaked, you're going to add the soaked cashew nuts along with their water to give you some creaminess to your to the texture as well. Don't forget to add your salt and pepper to this as well. And over here I did add my oil already. I'm not quite ready to add the um, rosemary, thyme, and sage just yet. And I am going to add the sage, the, the rosemary and thyme whole. Um, so that I can just pull them right out. And you can add a little bit of black pepper here as well. And you can add some of your pasta water once you get this going. So I'm going to go ahead and puree this first a little bit and then I'm going to add some of the pasta water to it. So the noodles are done, the sauce is done. So I'm now just toasting up the sage just crisping it up a little bit and I added the thyme and the rosemary into this oil and I'm just going to cook it for about 45 seconds because you don't want to burn any of it because that's the yucky yucky taste and after the oh I can smell it okay so once you can start to smell it you're going to go ahead and take it take the big pieces out and then Add your sauce. It smells 
so good guys okay I'm going to take the rosemary and the thyme out and I'm going to add my sauce so the sauce is really thick so I'm just going to add some water from the pasta noodles to thin it out a bit before adding my And make sure you're salting to taste. So I'm just going to go ahead and add my noodles to this, guys, and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. So I don't want to burn the sauce. So this is our final product. And... This is um, what it turned out like, so I'm eager to taste it. This is my first time making a butternut squash pasta. So, I am eager to try it with you guys. So, I'm waiting for the hubster. Hold on one second. Okay. Okay, guys. So, the taste tester is going to try it. Don't take too much. It is hot. So, I'm telling you that from being, you can see the steam come from it. And yet, you still try to put a ton of it in your mouth. <laughs> That's a lot. That's not a lot. Okay. It's good. What does it taste like? It tastes creamy. It's creamy? Mm-hmm. Anything else? Do you, it, do you taste the sage? Yeah. Do you even know what sage tastes like? <laughs> Well, I didn't grab one of the green things, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, the, the but, sage is inside of it. Does yeah, it, I, I taste put it. chili peppers in it, too. Yeah, oh, it's, it's, it's oh, after, now, after oh, yeah, you, uh, now it's hot. After you swallow it, the heat comes. Oh, okay, sure it does. <laughs> <laughs> you're making that up now. Now the whole world knows you're making that part up. So you know that's butternut squash that the sauce the sauce is butternut squash. It's made out of butternut squash. Yeah, I thought it was uh gonna be cheesy like but well, it's not it's creamy. But it's not cheesy, it's real good. Okay guys, you heard it here. If you haven't tried this before, you should try out the recipe. It's really good and it tastes like fall. Like it's like um he's still eating it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like fall guys so you should try it this is just an outtake guys if you eat dairy make sure at the end you add your um, smoked gouda or gouda or your parmesan I didn't add it to this one no, I added something to mine but I didn't add it to the hubsters because he's vegan but I should have said that in the what you call it as well so um, if you are a dairy person, then when it's all done, you're gonna add your Gouda and whatnot to it. Okay, bye. <laughs>